All right, this is a little how-to video to help you as an intro teacher who is not used or doesn't know how to use the Google Drive and Google Docs to set up a folder that you can share with your students and have them go get the information that they need for a unit to use in your class and not you do all the work to get it to them. All right, so I've logged into Google. I'm using Chrome, of course. You can use whatever browser you like, except for I would not advise Internet Explorer. I have no problems with Google working in anything except for Internet Explorer and anything 11 and above it seems to work okay but I just I prefer my Chrome or Maxton, Safari, Firefox, any of those just not the Internet Explorer. Alright when you see your splash screen you will know you're logged in because you'll have your login name here. Sometimes you have a little avatar etc. This is my district one so I'm going to show you in my district account. A couple of ways that you can get to your drive and your docs. You can click here on the little multicolored apps and it will pull up all the different apps that you have saved to your file. I kind of like this because they follow you everywhere no matter where you go. You go to the Google Store and you can go and search and you find all the more that you want. So for right now, just go back into Google. I find the easiest way is simply to go here and go to our drive. And now we're going to come in here. So now here's everything I have. So when I click shared with me, it shows my shared, start, if I haven't gotten anything started, it's important, recent, my trash, even though you delete something, it's still there. It's not there until you delete it and all kinds of more. So let's just go to my drive. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder. Google Drive example intro level. So this is the most basic level here. So I've created a folder. You'll notice some of these have like little people in them and some of them don't. That tells you that they're shared. They have a certain share level. So that's like a little visual clue for you. Now I'm going to click on the folder. Now there's nothing in my folder right now and it's not shared. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can share it and what it looks like. Now right now it's per currently I'm the owner and currently it's private only me. So one of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to actually share it with myself at my personal email and you can notify message if you do you type in message and you type in here whatever you want it to be. I don't need to notify myself but that's how you would notify somebody that you're sharing it with them. And I'm giving them edit rights. So I'm giving myself edit rights. So if I am working, and yes I do, if I'm working and let's say I'm logged in using my, so let's say I am working on my personal drive and I don't want to map and open up my district drive. Well, as I'm logged in myself and I've shared it with me, I can do that. So I can walk back and forth, fork back and forth between the accounts. Now here's where you can change. Currently, these are all the different security sessions you have. So you can say specific people. So if I'm working on a team and there's like six of us and we only want us to see it, I'm going to share the folder with just those six people, and that's it. I can say people at Conrad SD with the link. So they have to be on the Conrad SD net, so they have to be logged in. They have to have the link to access it. I can say that only people can find it, so they don't have to have the link. So as long as they're in Conrad SD, they can look for it and they can find it. I can do anyone with the link. No access required to sign in. So anybody, as long as I've sent them the link, they can get to it. And public on the web means anybody everywhere can find it. So you have to decide what level of security you feel that you need to have it. Now, I never post any personal information about students. Like, I don't ever push. There's not going to be any information like their home phone numbers. They're the different things people can get to online. You know, no social security. We, you remember, you got to protect the students here. So... I don't ever post that kind of stuff and I don't share that here. What I do is I share all the start documents and everything that we need for a unit. I actually like to make it public on the web, but you decide what level you want it to be. And then you need to decide, do you want it to view or edit? I can tell you right now, if this is a folder you're sharing with others to use, you want it to be view. You do not want it to be edit. You do not want them to be able to make changes to what you're doing. So only make it view. I advise a view. That was one of my mistakes I made in the beginning. I thought can edit. Oh great, you know, because they can get it and edit it and use it themselves wrong. That means they can type directly on your document. Make sure it's on view. And I'm going to hit save. Done. Now in this folder, I can place everything that I want. So I can drop files here. I can go and create. I can create a document, a presentation, spreadsheet form. You can do even more apps just by going to your app store and getting them. And let's just do a quick document. And yes, it's going to make sure you want to know, is it going to be here? And I can put here whatever I want it to be. I can type instruction here to the kids. Nice, I know. I can leave instructions for the students. I can put in this folder, I can drag and drop the rubric 
So I can drag and drop the grading rubric that we're going to use for this assignment. I can drag and drop in pictures. You can even drag and drop in video sometimes, and you can place all these in here. So I can come in here and I can go actually, let's just go up some, load some files I have. And I can literally come in here and tell it to upload everything. And it's going to ask again, because remember I've shared this folder and it will upload and place everything in here. So it will put everything into this folder that I just created. And it's going to take a little while because that's an AVI file. So I'm going to cancel that one so it'll go a little faster because you can see. So it's going to put the PowerPoint in there, put everything in there. Now, go ahead and get that. I want to share this folder and I want to share it with students. So I don't want to have to email it to them. I don't want to have to print this out to give it to every single kid. I don't want to do all these different work. I want the kids to do the work, not me to do the work. Okay. And if you're a visual person like me, how do you know how things are shared? If you'll notice right up here, see, it's on the world. So anybody can find it. It has my little avatar for my personal account. And then there is my owner, my account for the corner for the district. All right, here's my folder. I click on this and I copy the URL. If you're using the extension, you can use the Google shortener extension but I have a lot of people that don't actually use that. So if I just go to the goo.gl, it'll take me here. I can copy and paste my URL and I can tell it to shorten the URL. And if I, for example, let's say I don't like this code. I don't like it. Let's try to shorten it again and it'll give me another one. Okay. Let's say I like this one. It's good. Okay. Next. There it goes. Let me get it out of here. Now, uh, what I would do, I would create a doc document. And now, what you can simply do, you can go, I'll just make it nice and really big so the kids can see it. Oh well. So I can make this a little document that I can post up. If you're like me, if you click on details, I like details because I can take that lovely QR code, make it as big as I want. And then I take this one document and I might title it. I do like to kind of title mine because if you're one of those people like me, you like to keep your stuff, put a little title on it. And I will say, um, link to the folder for and then I can take this print this out post it on my bulletin board post it on the board wherever I want to go when the kids come in they go immediately to this link and it takes them to that folder so if I'm coming in and I'll say oh crud I forgot to put the rubric in or oh crud I need to add this or maybe I want to add pictures to this folder I don't have to go back and recreate all of this I just tell those files into this folder. I will, let's go, I'm gonna go put in, I know I should have something here on my desk. Maybe I'm going to put that. And I need to add that in there because I need to share that with the kids. All I have to do is upload it into this folder. And now that the kids have this to look at, it takes them to that folder. So when they take this, and I'm going to show you, I'll use a different web browser because I have multiple web browsers on mine. And so that child comes in and they type in that URL. It's going to take you there. I may have to enter. I may have to sign in. There it goes. And it takes you straight to that folder and you're in. And they can see everything and they can get to it. So that's the simplest, easiest way for you to share things with your students. This is, requires the least amount of effort on you and requires more effort on the kids to go to it. All you have to do is take stuff that you've already created, create a folder, share that folder, and create a link to that folder and share it with your students. Okay? Anybody can do this, and I promise you it will help you. It's the simplest, easiest way for an intro level to do. All right. Congratulations. You can do this. I know you can.